Hi, here's Shimon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. Check top 5 Teams applications that will support collaboration in your team. Welcome in the new series of the videos focused on the best application in Microsoft Teams that will help you to collaborate better with your teams on a daily basis. Today I prepared the top 5 applications that you could start with when you're working the hybrid mode with your colleagues and you're using Team to improve the collaboration in the team. You will find 5 applications that I highly recommend, I'm showing how they work and I'm presenting how to deploy them in your Microsoft Teams step by step. All of these apps are totally free, you don't need to do any kind of development task to make them work. So it's super easy and super fast way to improve the way how you work in Microsoft Teams on a daily basis. If you would like to get to know more applications like that, please leave the subscription on the channel. If you like this video, leave the thumbs up. Soon on the channel you will be able to see more recommended list applications like this one. So for now I will switch to my screen. The first application I would like to recommend you is Tasks by Planner and To Do. This is a very simple dashboard based application that brings Planner experience and To Do experience to Microsoft Teams and helps you to organize the work based on buckets, so some kind of Kanban experience. When you move the task be between the stages, assign the people that will work on them, deliver the information like timeline, priority, description or checklist that needs to be set in the task. So you can see this is very simple solution. It gives you quite good experience from perspective how to manage people engagement, team engagement across different activities that your team working on. To add the application, select the plus button on the channel level and select the task by planner and to do. When you will do that, remember you can create a new plan or use existing one. So to integrate your teams with existing plan created already in the planner. If you want to manage your team better, organize the time, engagement and assignment for the people, use this app. Another application I would like to recommend you that will help to manage the task and collaboration in the team is Milestones. This is not very popular Power Apps based application. That is something like very simple project management solution. So you setting up the milestones in the projects, you assigning the tasks on top of that and then you measuring where you are from perspective of the progress in the project you're managing. You can assign people, you can report the priorities and state of the tasks and based on that you can get very simple project management solution. You can see this is not something very advanced but still on top of small team could help you to manage the way how you work around the project and better reporting on top of the key milestones you want to deliver when you're working around your project. The application is free, setup is very simple, but again you have to remember this is not the level of project server or project online, this is very simple project and milestones reporting solution, but looks very nice, works quite well in small team. To add the application, select the plus button and look for the milestone application. Remember that first setup of the app could took a few minutes because the power app need to be installed on your team. Third up on today's recommendation list for Microsoft Teams is Channel Calendar, something super simple from perspective of working so you can bring calendar experience directly to the channel and filter the events that will be dedicated just for the team that you're collaborating with. Of course you can tell adding additional space to contain the events could make it a little harder to control where you are but if you're planning to record the sessions and have that for the future reference or additional onboarding on training that kind of solution will help you to store all the recordings in the meetings directly in your channel right in here plus it's much easier to find references for the events and the meeting you're planning for your team. Something very simple, worth to know that there is an option to add the calendar directly dedicated for the channel in your Teams. 
to add it, select the plus button and look for the channel calendar. The fourth app I would like to recommend you today is the bot with the name Who. It allows you to ask questions around the people in your organization to find them based on few criteria that bot allows to do. You, you need to add it on the teams level and thanks to that you will be able to find who is the manager of the employee you're working with, who has the same manager as, or other elements like who reports to somebody, who works with somebody, how the teams looks like. You can see that this is very simple. So if you ask who works with me the bot, it will list all people that works with the person you chose in the question. So something very simple, something you can use on a daily basis, especially if you have people that are new in the organization. You can find the questions like who is Lee and find your contact information about the person. You can directly go to the organization from their perspective and check how the structure in the organization looks like. You can see this is very simple solution like organization search, but based on the bot functionality. I believe for many users in your organization, in your team, many of your colleagues will be able to find very important information around your company structure using this bot. To add who application, go for apps in your Microsoft Teams and then search for who app. If you will found it, select add button. This will add the bot that will be able to use in your teams. When the bot will be added, remember to allow the bot to do the search in your context. The last application on my recommendation list for today is the Prize app. This is some kind of kudos solution for Microsoft Teams when you can send greetings, thank yous and highlight the people you're working with with some kind of appreciation. If you're working with a large team or remote team, that kind of behavior could be very useful and support hybrid work with your colleagues. So I highly recommend you to do that. Installation and usage of the app is quite simple. Probably the application is already enabled on your Microsoft Teams. So look for the price icon on the chat window and use it. In the new window, you will be able to select the badge you want to use in your kudos and send the message to your manager or your colleague about the collaboration, the project. Before you will publish the kudos on Microsoft Teams, you can preview it and then send it directly to the chat or to your channel. This is not the rocket science solution, but I think it's worth to know that you can do something like that to make hybrid work a little more user-friendly. As I mentioned, application probably is already enabled on your Microsoft Teams. Thank you very much for watching this first five application that could improve your way of collaboration in Microsoft Teams. I hope that using them will improve the way how you work with your colleagues. If you're looking for more advanced functionalities of Microsoft Teams or Office 365, check the blog, check the free course that you will find in the description of the video and check this channel in the future. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode.